up? What's up? Hey, people. What's up? You know it's your girl Jojo Sam, and today it's word time. Time. Yes, Josiah. It's word time. <laughs> if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, like, share, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to turn on your post notification bells to stay updated whenever Jojo Sam makes a post. So today. I'll be reading from 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 and this is from the New King James Version. It says, No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. able. But with the temptation True. will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. So basically 1 Corinthians 10 13 is reminding us or just telling us that the temptations is not uncommon to any of us if we're humans we must face temptations you know sometimes you may ask yourself the question why me god why me or sometimes you may think to yourself that the temptation that you face is just you alone going through it but be reminded that you need to lift your head up and be confident that even though there is the temptation before you, God has not allowed it to be more than what you cannot bear. So he has given you the grace to endure it and he has also provided a way for you to come out of that temptation. You know, sometimes we yield to that temptation. Sometimes we give in to the temptation. But we have to stand firm in these time and days. We have to remember that we are temples and we are called to be holy in Christ. So if it is that we are called to be holy in Christ, it doesn't mean that we won't experience temptation. It doesn't mean that we won't be weak and fall into the temptation at times. But as long as we're able to find in our hearts and our minds that we can resist, as long as we know that God has given us the grace to be able to resist, then we must make an effort to resist. And use that escape method that God has given so when your mind wants to turn to lusting shake your mind and say mm -mm, I call my mind back to a place of conscious thinking when you want to hate when your emotions want to drive you into becoming fearful remind yourself what God word has said just when know that you're able to bear it you're able to get through it and you shall get through it for you not only overcome by your own self, but you overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony. So keep in mind what the word of God says for your life. And make sure to be applying the word. And of course, most importantly, practice self-discipline. The more you work on shaping yourself to become a more spiritually mature individual, it will become easier for you to resist temptation. The more you break down and satisfying your flesh always, it's the better you become at learning to have self-control. So you will no longer easily find yourself succumbing to temptations and giving in to lustful desires. But you will find yourself just backing out, backing out and being strong enough to overcome all the struggles that you go through. Be blessed. I do hope that you are encouraged by this word today. And be reminded that it's not you alone that is going through the trials and the temptation. Even the most holiest and greatest of people that you see go through trials and tribulation. But what's the difference? What's the difference? They know who they are. They know who they are called to be. And you know what? They use the escape route that God has given unto them. So, it's up to you today. Make that choice by using that escape route that God has given unto you. For you are able to overcome. So don't succumb to the enemy. But overcome the enemy. Be blessed. Jojo Sam loves and appreciates you. Always. Later.